This video is going to show you how to install a window in a sail. This is a sunfish sail. Okay, we're going to be putting a window in the sail today. And when you find your measurement, you want to add an inch to the height and to the length of your window. If it's for racing and you have to have a special size, you always want to make sure you add an extra inch your half inch of sewing around the window and then you'll be cutting out the size of the window for the specs. So what you want to do is measure up from the foot to where your back corner is going to be, up from the foot where your front corner is going to be, and then back into where the front of the window will come. It's important to use a pencil and mark the sail so you know where to place your window. And then you just mark for your window. That or not, I've just kind of put a spot line through here. I've already cut my window out to size, but you can go ahead when you get your window and cut the width you need. Don't forget to add if you need to add inch length and height for the window if it has to be to specs for racing or anything like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to run some basting tape around it, tape it right to the sail. And you want to run your tape as close to the edge as you can, but not at the edge where you can see that after you put it on. If you get it too far in, you're not going to be able to cut your window there. It's going to be stuck onto the sail. So you want to try to keep it as close to the edge as possible. Plastipane cuts nicely with just a pair of scissors. Once the seam stick has been basted around the perimeter of your vinyl, we'll stick it down to the sail, being careful to keep any air bubbles out as we adhere it down. Get your corner mark and your line where you want to set it. Okay, we see where the marks are and where your window is. Once you get it laid on there without sticking it down or anything, you want to reach up underneath of there where the window's going to be and you want to take a cut in the sail. Otherwise, once you get your window on, you go to cut a hole to get the window cut out and you're going to scratch your window or put a hole in the window too. And then I usually just start on a corner and get it set. And then go down one long end. This procedure is pretty simple. She just based down the bottom edge of this window first. By following the pencil lines, you can easily keep the window in the appropriate position. Once the bottom edge has been secured, then just simply use your hand or a soft cotton rag and push the wrinkles out of the sail and also the window material, being sure that it's nice and flat. Then remove the paper backing revealing the glue and base the other perimeters of the window down. You can see here, Deb will actually stretch the sail, making sure that the shape has been flattened, and then she'll put the vinyl on. This works out any bubbles. All right, it's been basted in place. Now we're ready to sew. We'll take the sewing machine over to the Sailrite Professional Long Arm Sewing Machine. This is a three-point zigzag. You do not need to use a three-point zigzag. You could just use a standard two-point zigzag to sew around the perimeter of the window. 
If you don't have a zigzag machine, you can also use a straight stitch machine and put two rows of a straight stitch right next to each other. You'll notice here that she's reversing to begin the stitch. At each corner she'll do this just to lock the stitch in place. You'll also notice that when Deb gets to the corner, she'll bury her needle in the thickest part of the shaft and then roll the sail around. That way the needle stays in the right position and by doing this at the thickest part of the shaft it doesn't cause needle deflection. Then she'll do a reverse and sew down the other leg. Take note that when she did that she also raised her foot, the presser foot. Here we are again, to a corner, bury the needle, lift the foot, and then roll the sail around to sew down the opposite leg. For the other side of the long run, we're going to put the sail in a position that the foot is in the throat of the sewing machine, so we didn't actually pivot around again here because we'd have a lot of excess fabric at the head. Instead, we pivoted around to sew at the foot. Okay, so here's our window. Flip the sail over. Find your cut that you made. And then what you want to do is just come right down. If you want, you can go ahead and strike a line with a ruler inside. And then you want to just cut right inside all the stitches. use just the tips of my scissors that way they're not underneath here scratching the window. I always try to hold this up away and put my hand in between the window and the fabric that way your scissors aren't going to be riding on your window. All right the Dacron has been cut out at revealing the window. Let's take a look at the sail. Okay. Again this is a sunfish sail. Looks good. There's the window. <laughs> I'm Eric Grant, and for all of us here at Sailrite, thanks for watching this video.